Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, January 8th, 2023. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. Eh, Sundays, eh? Sunday, 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 bye, bye. That's not the song. I know, but I'm going to change it to what I want it to be. How you doing? Beer Time Indeed from Niagara Teaching College. Another Beer 101, a beer less than a can. Comes the Strong L, 7.5%. And here again on the back. I love this. It's history, bitterness, color, alcohol made from, aroma, fla flavor, mouthfeel, and pairs with. It does the things they tell you. A strong British ale, a wee heavy in Scotland, or old stock ale in England, historically brewed to be blended with other beers and or served on special occasions, particularly cold evenings by the fire. Uh, it's 7.5%. uses Maris Otter, Two Row Caramel, uh, Victory, and Crystal Malt. Ontario grown hops, English aliens, and there's a bunch of stuff. So let's get into it. Uh, I do like we have a. I didn't know the stock ales. I said, remember Molson stock ale? I don't think I ever had that. So you notice I, I like to use my Carlos glass uh, from The Hangover. The Hangover is one of my favorite movies, and I watched all three Hangover movies, you know, and I, I, I remember the first two, like the first one I had seen dozens of times, the second one probably a dozen times, and the third one I think I'd watched half of it. So I, and I always heard the third one was terrible. So I'm watching the third one. I get through the third one. And I'm like, you know what? It had moments that made me laugh. And that's what you're after. You know? Or he'll stop playing with the mirror. He's trying to break in the closet there. But it had moments that made me laugh. And I think that's what a good movie does. It makes you laugh. You're familiar characters. You enjoy stuff. Uh, let's get into this. It smells malty. Like, you're already like, mm, this is a malty. It's just a malty, malty fucking. All right. Cheers. Pretty standard. And again, this is the beer 101 should be standard. Two style, because they're trying to demonstrate what that style is. This is bready, rye bready, toasted malts, um, caramel, toffee, hints of dark fruit, a little bit of warming alcohol on the back end. It's a very simple, but two style beer. And there's something to be said for those. This is... This series of beers is meant to do, like we said before, do two things. To teach the student brewers how to become proficient in brewing these stable and, and, and long-lasting styles that have come to, you know, populate the world. And then they can take their own take on them, which they allow them to do for Project uh, Niagara College. Excuse me. Oh, poke is getting old. See, somebody would edit that out. I still haven't figured out how to do that after all these years. I am the laziest person in the world. Why do I do beer reviews sitting down? Because why would I be standing doing anything? Like, I've re really reached that point where I'm like, I can't do it sitting down. And if I can't do it sitting down, do I have to do it at all? If I'm not at work. But this is a good beer. It's nice. Maybe 7.5 is a little high for your first beer of the day. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go with it. It's nice. We very, very much malty. Like, and I know malty is a terrible descriptive word. But I think when I say things like malty or hoppy, there's a real big segment of people who understand what I mean, right? It has that very thick kind of caramel taste, right? That bready toasted malt. So yeah, I like it. It's good. I enjoy it. Sunday. It's a Sunday beer. A big Sunday beer, but a Sunday beer nonetheless. <sighs> I watch the Bills play. I'm not a Bills fan. I'm a Packers fan. But it's hard not to cheer for the team that's, you know, so close to you. So if the Packers can't win at all, I'll take the Bills. Cheers, my friends. It's a solid beer all the way through. Again.